Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the bell notification so you know whenever we upload a video. Good morning or by the time this is uploaded, good afternoon. Grab your coffee, grab your tea. Um, I felt like I was being led to Romans chapter 13 this morning just to kind of talk about um, who it is that we ought to be and how we should um, put on the armor of light. So let's go ahead and dig into that. Romans 13, beginning with chapter 8. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse me. <clears throat> We're trying to get over colds here in this house, so I'm sorry about that if my voice goes in and out. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for he who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet, and if there is any other commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Um, love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. So here, we already know that Jesus, he came and he fulfilled the law. He didn't do away with it. He fulfilled it. And if we walk in love and we love our neighbor, and our neighbor is pretty much every other human being on the planet, um, well, that's not our enemies, but we're supposed to love our enemies too. So anyways, um, loving our neighbor is going to be doing no harm to them. So if we're walking in love toward other people, then we're not sinning. Um, toward other people. We're not coveting what they have. We're not um, doing any harm to them, you know, whatsoever. Um, now, I will say, in light of what's going on in the month of June, which I'm sure a lot of you know, um, that it is what's been deemed Pride Month, um, I don't like to just call out individual sins because, you know, for me, it's like if you've committed one sin, then you're guilty of committing them all. Um, Although, we're in the end of days, and evil is being called good, and good is being called evil. And I will say, um, not going to, especially, um, a brother or a sister in Christ, um, and I would say in private, uh, first of all, going to them in private, if they are being misled uh, when it comes to, you know, sin, and they're supporting um, the pride and the homosexual lifestyle, which, like I said to me, I mean, that's no different than, um, than any other type of sexual immorality. Um, those are just things that, as Christians, as the body of Christ, we should not be doing ourselves and we should not be condoning um, others to do. And uh, that doesn't mean that we hate anybody. That means that we love you enough to tell you the truth, the truth of God's Word. So, uh, with that being said, doing no harm means, you know, not coveting, not sinning against someone. But when you're, when you're trying to open someone's eyes to the truth of their sin so that they can walk in the fullness of Christ Jesus, that's not hate. That is actually walking in love. So let's move on, uh, chapter, I mean, uh, verse 11. And do this, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. So that's a clear summation of um, turning away from sin, of, of keeping our minds on things above, on heavenly things, on spiritual things, um, and not on earthly things. Because when we put our mind on earthly things, um, then we fall into sin, and because we're born into sin, and right now Satan, he rules the world. I mean, that is, 
you know, Jesus is the ultimate ruler and king, and he is coming back very, very soon, and we will be reigning with him. We will be walking with him in the New Jerusalem. We will be um, dwelling with him. We will see his face. It is going to be wonderful, beautiful, and glorious. But right now, we can clearly see that the devil is at work in the world. Um, that is very, very clear to see. So, with all the evil that is going on. So, if you are in Christ Jesus, and you are supporting or promoting any kind of sin, no matter what it is, that's not okay. I mean, I'm just going to tell you right now, I love you enough to tell you that that is not okay. I want you to walk in the fullness of Jesus Christ, in the freedom that he has given us to walk in the Spirit. We are filled with his Holy Ghost. And uh, so we are the temple um, of God. He dwells inside of us. And, um, and we should not be grieving the Holy Ghost. We should not be walking in sin or supporting those that are in sin. Um, I mean, we should not be supporting their sin. We should, like I said, love them enough to go to them privately and talk to them about it. Uh, because, I mean, if we don't support each other and correct each other with the truth of God's Word as brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm, then I don't want to be guilty of leading someone astray and having them being cast into the lake of fire. I mean, I don't want that on me at all. At all. That's, a, that's a huge burden to bear, and I don't want that burden. I want to tell people the truth, and I want to tell them the truth in love um, so that they will know, and they can make the decision for themselves. Um, but those that are filled with the Holy Spirit are also going to be convicted by the Spirit. So just please... Um, those of you out there that are calling us Christians or even people of other religions haters and all that stuff because um, of what we believe, then you need to understand, I guess, the definition of what hate is. And yes, we are to hate and we are to abhor sin. Absolutely. It is right here in God's Word and when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you understand that. Um, even if you fall into sin, filled, when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, at least in my experience, being filled with the Holy Spirit, when I have fallen back into sin of any kind, the Holy Spirit convicts me. And I know, even though it's a battle between my spirit and my flesh, um, but I want to continue to mature in my walk of faith, and I want to do what is pleasing to the Lord, because that is... Um, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And whenever I am walking in the ways of the Lord and I am doing things that are pleasing to the Lord, then I feel that, um, that fullness of joy in me um, because He is where we belong. Um, so if you're not in Christ Jesus, then you're eternally separated from God, from our Heavenly Father, our Creator, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And God is the creator, so he gets the final say, which is right here in this book. So I just want to stress to you that we are to walk in love towards other people. And that also means to share the truth with them. The truth, God's truth. We are to share that truth of his whole word. Jesus is the word. Jesus is the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. And those of you that think that we are being hateful because we are sharing the truth, because we love you enough that we do not want to see you cast into the lake of fire for an eternity, then I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you other than you're wrong. Um, with that being said, if you do not know Jesus, if you have not accepted His free gift of faith through grace, um, Please do it now. Please don't wait. Um, our time is very, very short. So just please accept that free gift. He died for you and for me. He died for the sins of the entire world. He became sin on the cross at Calvary.